Okay, everybody, so it has been a very busy week for me. Uh, I got quite a few goodies done, and it's only Wednesday, so uh, let's hope to see a couple other goodies out by Friday. Hopefully, I will have at least one, if not more, journals done by Friday. Um, so, if any of you know or have been keeping up with my Facebook or I think I've even talked about it on my YouTube channel. I am now hosting classes at Joann's. So Saturday is my first official class. I was supposed to have one, I think, last weekend. But um, we've been having issues getting all of the uh, employment stuff and all of that settled through Joann's. But hopefully this week it'll be squared away. I'm actually going to head down there after this and have a talk with them, get some things uh, down to them, and hopefully we will be ready to go. And I was looking in my bag and realized that I forgot something. I will be right back. Okay, now I'm back. So this is my spine demo for the class. Of course, it has uh, my name for my channels and all of that as a demo. And but then we got this beautiful journal that is also going to be a demo. So I hope uh, you guys would like a flip through. So it's really simple yet really elegant. Uh, I love this fabric. It has some 3D effects in the fabric. You can kind of tell right there. It would probably help if I turn on my excess lighting, huh? A little bit, yeah. Although the natural light from the windows is really good today. So... It says, Be You Bravely, and we got these little things here, and these are handmade flowers from some beautiful sari silk that uh, somebody sent me. Uh, it's been a while. I think this was the first set of sari silk anyone ever sent me. And um, there's a pocket here. And then we have this beautiful paper. Now, Please do not ask me where I got this paper. I think it was given to me when I was 16. And if I'm not mistaken, it was gotten from either Joann's or Walmart. It has been a very long time. And I decided to go with a very simple blue and white. And of course, the uh, paper has these brown colors dark and light browns so I really really liked that and of course we got the texture from the the way that I dye my paper um, if any of you are in interested in colored paper please check out my Etsy because I do list some of it in my shop um, and if you would like to know how I dye the paper there is actually some videos up on YouTube I don't 100% remember where they are, and it is going to be a busy week. I will try to put links in the video um, so you can go and find the paper and how to dye it. But it is in there. It, it's up there, definitely. Um, I do not give away my drying techniques. Uh, a lot of people do it differently. Um... I would assume mine would be a little bit more expensive than the average person's uh, way of drying it. I was just fortunate enough to have access to it. And, oh, it's stuck together. So, there's that. And I decided on this one, too, to do the, the, the tan string or the tan thread with the chocolate thread and I think it came out very well. Um, I know a lot of people dye their paper in the oven. That's how they dry it. Uh, the paper that I actually show you in the video is all air dried and to get those textures I have discovered that that is the only way you can really um, get that kind of paper is to let it air dry and mess with it and it is very time consuming so if anyone wants that type of paper you're going to have to message me because the paper in my shop is not as vivid as the paper in the video um if you want paper like that listed in the shop it will be a bit more because it is 
very time consuming. Um, as opposed to the way I traditionally do it, it does not take me very long at all to make some paper. And I also have a uh, one paper pack. It's it's been a, a long process of making a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm actually currently working on a dresser today, and I'm hoping to get it primarily finished. So um, getting those paper packs finished has not been easy that I've been wanting. Um, oh yeah, they're supposed to match. That I've been wanting to do that and um, I've been slowly working towards organizing my craft room, which because I literally have no furniture for organization purposes, it's just been literally piles of stuff. So, um, when I finally do get the organization I am hoping for, hopefully I'll be able to get more paper, the paper packs out and get them out in a very fast fashion because getting organized is literally what's holding me back now in a lot of stuff. So there is this beautiful journal. This will not be up for grabs. Um, this one is going to be a demo journal. Those of you who live in Tucson, if you would like to see it, head down to Joann's on Broadway and Culp. That is where this journal will be. This spine will also be there. Um, I am still currently making other products to sit there as demo products i do want to do some like tags and some ephemera and uh, i think i'm going to do some atc cards as well um like i said it's been very busy lately trying to get so many things done i work for my mom i help out my neighbor uh friday i actually got to go help out my mom and then on tuesdays i help out my neighbor i didn't get around to it this week because i've had to work more but i do want you guys to know that I have also started working on some more simple journals. And look at those lush goodies. Okay, these are very simple. And the reason why I love these is it doesn't take me that long to do them. They come out very gorgeous. And I can get quite a few of them done in a week or in a couple of days. We will see how these sell and then I will make more. I'm just in love with these. Very, very simple again, um, but very gorgeous. So look at that cover. I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit to get it to fit. And then, of course, this one is Crime and Punishment. And it is the original book cover. Um, I have all of the insides. And so if you guys are interested and want paper kits to go with the journals, let me know. And I will list them separately in my Etsy shop. Again, I have not, I just tore apart the books. I haven't had time to break down the paper. I got a friend who very generously helps me out with that. Um, so I just dropped him off with her the other day and she should probably be getting to them today. She's probably going to be surprised because it was kind of one of those, I'm going to leave it here and she's going to find it and go, oh my God, this is a lot of stuff. So, um, but she doesn't mind doing it and it kills time, but uh, crime and punishment and if you want paper packs to go with it please please let me know uh, there's paper uh, I also still have all the paper for all the rest of these journals so if you want paper kits for those two please let me know um, we have this inside I love this vintage paper and match the journal perfectly uh, some sort of vintage theme paper and again oh that don't go in there very simple blank sheets of paper um, I have been having people ask me, and of course, here's the original bookmark that came with the book. So that has been installed and you will have that. I have had people ask me for very basic journals. Um, here you are. These will be listed in my shop soon. Probably this evening while I'm dealing with all of the little trick-or-treaters, I will also be working on getting these in the shop. Some of them have ties on them. Some of them do not. Uh, a couple of them will be cheaper than others. Um, the, obviously, the ones with more work are going to be a little bit more expensive. Look at that cover. So beautiful. Remember, these are very old books, so they're going to be a little worn. Um, don't expect them to be perfect. They have a lot of character. This one is uh, Barchester Towers. 
very simple again nothing on the pages um i know nick the booksmith right now is doing uh, some really pretty bird paper yeah she's not doing really pretty bird paper remember guys my train of thoughts all over the place sometimes <laughs> There's a tuck spot. So I know Nick the Booksmith is doing that um, Desert Island challenge. It's kind of funny that she did that challenge because I was creating these right when that challenge popped up. So these have nothing to do with that challenge. These were of my own creation and design when coming up with these. And this was primarily because of the demand of people asking me for very simple, uh, low-cost journals. So... Um, please check these out. But on the note of the Nick the Booksmith challenge, I will be doing it and I've been working on some eco-stained paper for that very challenge. Uh, my first time doing eco-stained paper. I got to actually go check it out after this video um, because I know it should be about dry. And I'm finding that you have to let that hand dry too and leave the leaves on it because if you move the leaves while it's still wet a lot of the prints that you're looking for will not reside on the paper just a little fyi from what i've learned if any of you are thinking about trying it and yes when leaves and stuff are drying they do have that old smelly leaf smell so it's just something that you're gonna have to um if you want eco dyed paper, that's something you're going to have to deal with. If you don't like that smell, you're probably going to want to move away from the eco dyed paper. Me personally, I love that smell. It reminds me of fall at my parents' house. Okay, so we have Green Man Mansions by A W H Hudson. Um, This one, I was my very very first try so it's a little bit more simpler than the other couple uh, of journals and so it doesn't have anything very exciting but I do realize that I don't think I put okay I did date this one a couple of these other ones I have not dated I will usually date them and obviously put my um, name on them very simple journals this one does not come with a bookmark, although it comes with my favorite symbol, the Florida Lee. I've actually been debating on keeping this one, so if anyone's really interested, uh, please let me know because I've, I've thought about keeping that one. <laughs> Heck, I've thought about keeping all of these. They're gorgeous. Okay, so we got Play-Doh, and I tied this one because I was waiting for it to dry before I tied the strings. So if you are curious on how to do that, do not tie these strings until they are dry. Uh, so we got The Republic and Other Works by Plato. I love the color or the cover. Very beautiful. And again, on the inside, I did a very rustic paper to match. I love the way it turned out. If anyone is interested in Sir Plato, please drop a comment or run on over to my Etsy shop. If it is not there, I am sorry. Um, cause I'm going to try and list them after I list this. So this one I think is my favorite. Okay. Maybe this one was my first one and the other one was like my second or third, but that one, yeah, that other one was my second or third because the book was coming apart a little more than the other. So I kept it very basic. I love the way this one came out. It came out very sturdy. Um, the book has held up with time better than the other ones have, but I think that's because this one is more of a pleather and I think these are kind of like a plasticky, not really plasticky, but yeah, some, I don't know, maybe this because this one might be real leather. So this is Homer and it's got a Veritas insignia on it. So if anyone's interested in Veritas, uh, I love the iron crosses around the edge, Veritar, Veritas, a deluxe edition, and this is a Harvard classic. Um, if you guys are interested in the paper, again, let me know. Uh, I put a very satiny enclosure on this one. Uh, I love, I originally put a vintage one on it and it ripped. So actually, yeah, because this one was my first one and I had to cover it with this little tuck spot and put in a new binding piece to hold it closed. So this is actually not the original one and it is holding up a lot better and looks very nice. I do wish I had the vintage one. It looked so much cooler 
but it still does look very nice and very pristine, I think, with this beautiful ribbon here. Um, this one does not have a bookmark. I've been trying to put the bookmarks from the original books in with the papers and stuff. Um, again, this was my first one, so if I had a bookmark, I do not remember. So these are ready to go out. Hopefully I will get them up this evening. If not, I will have them out tomorrow. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please enjoy your Halloween and give out tons of candy to the little kitties. It has been 15 minutes. Oh, before I go. So I have hit 441 subscribers. Thank you so much to all my subbies. I will be hosting a giveaway at 500 and please stay tuned as you will have to watch that video in order to know what to do in order to enter for the giveaway. Thank you very much and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!